from Daily Forex, this is Chris taking a look at the euro and the pound. You can see the euro fell apart during trading on Friday. Not a big surprise when you take a look at the horrific German economic figures. But then again, later we got bad U.S. figures as well. And that had money flowing into the treasury market. People buying bonds need dollars and that put even more pressure on the euro. Right at 112 and a half, though, there's a huge demand area. I suspect it will hold. Matter of fact, we may have already seen that began, uh, begun, but uh, I think at 114.50 above, there's a lot of supply. So really, even as bearish as the last couple of candles have been, I think we continue to go sideways overall. The British pound initially fell during the day, but with the uh, British getting a bit of a reprieve and an extension from the EU... As far as leaving is concerned, it's likely that uh, we will continue to see bullish momentum. 133.5 continues to be a bit of a target. Uh, 130 underneath continues to be support. Now, I think we're trying to wind this up for a move much higher longer term, but uh, right now, I expect a lot of back and forth, so I still like buying the dips. Mm -hmm.